All right, for this video on my mods that I've done to my 2017 Tacoma, I'm going to finally show you the gooseneck hitch installed. So we're looking at the bottom side of the truck here. Try and show you the best I can since we're pretty much laying on the ground. All right. So this is the underside of the hitch. We'll show you, see if I can show you the couple of the brackets that I had made. That was the more challenging side because of the brake lines there. You can see how one of them goes underneath the rails and then the other one goes up and over. So I had to kind of bend those brackets and reshape them, redirect them in order to get them around the brackets. Now these are the brackets that I had made right here. That's one of them. And there's the other ones on the other side there. And then they go through the frame. That's one side. That's the driver's side. And then let's see if we can... I don't know how much you're actually going to be able to see because of the, the exhaust. It is kind of difficult to see in here. You can kind of see them in there. There you go. Again, you can see it going through the frame there. Take a look on the outside of the truck. And then you can see the Firestone Ride Right. We'll go ahead and include that in this video as well. Since I have the tires off, I dropped the spare down so that I could get up underneath here too. The red lines that you're seeing, those are air lines for the, the Firestone, the Ride Right Air Helper Springs. Crawl out from here. So this is the other side of the brackets. These are the other brackets that I had made. Had it shaped around the suspension mount. This big bolt right here is actually part of the Firestone Ride Right Air Helper Springs. I don't know why I keep saying all of that. The airbags. Part of the airbags. So they bolt through from those brackets, through the frame, and into this bracket. And then this, bra this bolt is just from the frame. It's from this bracket to the frame. Then this bolt goes through the frame and into one of the other brackets that I had made. And same with these upper bolts. Well, actually, no, these upper bolts don't actually go through the frame. They're just to the bracket, straight to the brackets that I had made. This bolt goes through the frame and into the bracket, the other bracket that I had made on the other side of the... Here's the pull handle for the ball. Give it a pull and a twist and it locks open. I'll show you the other side because it's not identical. So here's the other side. I couldn't drop it down because it's just too narrow. So I didn't even bother to drop it down on this side. So this just goes into the, one of the other brackets I had made. Again, two upper bolts, one bottom bolt, and then this one's just to the frame. One big bolt going through to the airbags. And for the airbags, I did the onboard compressor system so that I don't have to find an air compressor. And I tucked it back in this hole right here for my truck. There wasn't anything here. I don't know what normally goes here because there were some studs there. I just uh, utilized a plate, mounted the compressor there. And I think from some of the other videos, you may have seen the air gauges and switches. So here's the air gauges that I have. This one actually has two needles in it. 
one for the left, one for the right. So the red one's for the left, red one is for the, I'm sorry, red one's for the left, black one's for the right. And then this one has a single needle in it. I'll show you what that's for. So there's three switches here. We got the left airbag, we got the right airbag, and the center switch is for the fitting that I have in the bed. So if you saw my video on the tonneau cover, you'll see you'll have seen this fitting that I have here. So that center switch is actually for this fitting. And that's actually for the hitch that I have for my trailer. So I plug the air hose into that, and there's another airbag in the hitch on the trailer. So I can adjust the air in the trailer on the fly. And here's where I keep the ball. For this particular hitch, since it's for the Tundra, they just give you a cover. They don't allow you to turn it over like the other ones. I'm not sure why. I think in the Tundra there's stuff that would hit if the ball actually turned over. And then the ball drops right back down in there. Got your chain loops. Cover go back over it. And I, actually today I just made this piece of foam. I just cut it out, glued it, great stuffed it together so that uh, it stopped sliding around in my cubby because I could hear it as I'm driving. Hear it sliding around. Hopefully uh, that'll keep that from happening from now on. Go ahead and re-engage. This is a cover. It's hooked again. There it goes. All right. But you can see that it goes all the way up to the bottom of the bed. So that'll give it give it any structural support that it was losing by cutting these out. But it turned out great. Very happy with it. I have the towel in there because I'm filthy today so I don't want to get my truck dirty. Catch you on the next one.